What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Choji. Wish I drank some water before I started to speak. simple video hopefully I always say that but let's get to the point I'm gonna be speaking about capitalism and the real reason that it's actually I guess bad all right cuz um a lot of times folks uh, try and break down to say that capitalism a lot of the innate uh, characteristics of capitalism is what makes it evil but that's not my angle everyone knows the truth is that a mechanism can't literally be good or bad it's its application but the way that uh, capitalism is applied to our world and um, you have to you have to go with me properly don't don't log out or tap out just like go with me through the rabbit hole so you can actually get to my point but if you look at the way capitalism is actually utilized, right? If you think of even the word why it's called capitalism, you're capitalizing on situations that are gonna accrue you revenue or you know benefits, whatever the case may be, or advantages or a privilege. So what is injustice, right? Injustice is basically um, things that go unaccounted for or negative situations that are unaccounted for so you say there's an injustice something bad happened and uh, not necessarily revenge but justice has not been found justice has not been laid justice has not been given but if you also think of a lot of the situations of antiquity that we speak about in terms of like world history um, even national history things local history they're, they're situations of injustice, right? The macro, the largest situation that I, that I can speak to, that I know everyone can understand as soon as I mention it, is slavery, per se. Um, descendants or descendants of slaves, and uh, there's an injustice due to the process of how we're freed. We've yet to receive full justice for those actions. So now automatically you're gonna start thinking, well, what is justice? What would justice be? You know, reparations, da da da, whatever. Well, due to our current system, our current system's capitalism, but it's always been capitalism because slavery is a form of capitalism, but it's a different form and it's not equally transferable because you see when the slaves were freed, they didn't receive the benefit for their work. They didn't receive all the money held up into some value stock saying, this is your contribution to America held in a, in a stock that you can pass down to your family. No, it was given to the slave owners. Meaning that even though we, we do not agree with the action, we actually agree with the principle that it brings forth, which is to capitalize. So if we agree with capitalism, then we cannot ask for justice. The principle is the same. Yes, the actions are different. We're not whipping our workers to come to the job, but we know we're paying them way less than we could be based on our own personal you know, motivations to accrue whatever we're looking for, revenue and, and bonuses and such and such, blah, 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 blah. So you know you're gonna make the markup got to make whatever whatever amounts of profit that's how capitalism works it can't you can't capitalize if there's no profit margin what are you capitalizing on you capitalize on the profit you capitalize on the situation you gain so all the slave owners they weren't the hard-working back-breaking slaves they didn't even own the land they took the land took slaves and capitalized until this day principle remains if you see a situation you can capitalize on as long as the law is in your favor you can move forward with it and laws can be changed at the whim of the people all right it was just the north competing against the south and how the south was 
making so much money from slavery that they're like, nah, we gotta end this so that we can have a way to compete with these guys. These guys are making too much buck and we ain't making any. It wasn't because they literally saw slavery as wrong. And maybe some of them did, but come on, trillion dollar industry. Well, now we can look at slavery as a trillion dollar industry because, uh, you know, the way it evolved into prison complex system, amount of companies that can ship out jobs to all around the world and the prisons to get work done on the pennies. You know what I mean? So that's why capitalism is actually bad. Because the principle of it allows for evil. And because everyone else is participating in that principle, they can never truly ask for justice, which would bring about the good, which would bring about the balance. We say there's justice, but we look at the justice system, it's run by capitalism. So if the justice system is run by capitalism, then that makes capitalism um, privy to do whatever it wants. It's, it, capitalism can, at any point, apply correctly. The principles of capitalism are applied, applied correctly, overturn any, any ruling, can overturn any situation. If you have enough money, you could make sure you have the right judges. If you have enough money, you could send the kids to school to become the judges. That's different than buying the judges. You send that nigga to school, you educate him, and he becomes a judge, you own that nigga for life. You don't, you don't even have to say you own it. He has an energy of gratitude. Anything, anytime you knock at the door, he's willing and ready to do something for you. So imagine hundreds of years of niggas being sent to school, positioned all around politics. A bunch of capitalism is around you all the time. Deeper then you can try and fight for justice for. Come on, bro. We would still be slaves if someone didn't see a bigger bag. We would still be slaves if someone didn't see a bigger bag to, wait, let's unshackle the slaves, broaden the term, right? So then like some of the white folks I don't really like can start being seen as slaves. I could start using their labor. I could start using these folks' labor. Let's do this, let's do this. Let, you know what? Let's go into war so we could even bring the women. You know, all the men are gone. We need to bring the women into work now. We can make money off of all. Like, if there's not a bag to be had, they ain't changing no rules. That's why you have to lobby for rules to be changed. Most of the time, you have to lobby. You have to literally give a bag to a politician. If there's no bag to be had. No rules are being changed. Capitalism is the force that runs everything. So justice can't run in a world where capitalism is ruling. It's just, it's, it's, not, it's not that capitalism is good or bad. It's just justice doesn't work. Justice will not work when everyone's looking for the bag. It's supposed to be a five minute video, but I know it's gonna get a little passionate. I know it's gonna take a one, two pull and start. But everything I'm saying is true. So you already know. Please.